Okay, I'm just going to show here how I mounted my pump. I made this loader here for my wheel horse uh, 520H. Um, and uh, the pump was one of the most unique parts about this. I had to put a high, I wanted to put a high volume hydraulic pump on there. I hope to make some other attachments that are hydraulic driven as well. And I put this big pump on there. Got that at Surplus Center. It's a great pump. Max is about just under nine gallons a minute pumping. That's a 20 horsepower motor. And uh, anyway, it's it's more than enough for this loader. Um, but mounting it on there was a bit of a trick. I don't know if you can see this. What I did is I made a mounting plate right here. And I it's kind of a, a V-shaped uh, piece of 3 8 thick steel. And I bolted it to the bottom of the mounting plate that the motor mount sits on. And I have, and I add an extra bolt hole down on the other side over here. Uh, I don't know if you can even see it in there, uh, back in here. But uh, there's four bolts holding that in, and then the pump mounts onto that mounting plate. But the real trick was not that, but rather the pump itself is not designed according to the manufacturer for a V-belt pulley system like this because it is not designed, the bearings for the pump are not designed for side pressure. So this pump has a three and a quarter inch flange uh, on the other side or a hub on the other side of it. So I got this piece of aluminum here. I'm gonna turn the camera so you can see it a little bit. And I took this uh, pump and I bored a hole in the lathe. I put this in my, in my lathe and I bored a three and a quarter inch diameter hub in there, uh, about a quarter inch deep, and then a two and a half inch diameter bore all the way through. And then I pressed a two and this this hub into that aluminum plate. And then I also put a two and a half inch diameter bearing in there. And then I made an adapter shaft for the pump. The pump is a five eight shaft. I took a piece of inch and a quarter diameter steel and I bored a 5 8 hole through that, put a keyway in, and then um, the, the pulley mounts on the far end of that inch and a quarter shaft, but that shaft goes through that bearing into this block and that's what's mounted on and tensioned and all the pressure is on that large bearing inside of there so there's no side pressure on the pump itself. So that was quite a job, but it really, it really seems to work really, really well. Hey, the other thing on this little loader project that I did was kind of unique was the uh, the hydraulic reservoir um, I made out of this uh, this is three inch square tubing here that vertical that passes underneath the loader at tractor and then it also comes up on the other side kind of a mating half it's the mounting frame uh, let's see if we can see that here there it is on the other side over there where the uh, joystick uh, control valve is mounted. You can see the filler cap on the top here because I turned it into a reservoir. This whole piece is the reservoir for the hydraulic fluid. I got about three and a half gallons in there. Um, and you can see down here, I got a big filter down in there, a suction filter on this side. Um, you can see it down in here. That screws into there. I welded some big heavy thick plates on here and drilled and tapped them. And then I put the big suction filter on this side, and that goes into my pump. And then on this other side, because I was really concerned about uh, dirt in here in this whole system, I put a return filter on there as well. As it comes out of my joystick valve, you can see the hose loops around and goes back into a return uh, line filter, inline filter and goes back into my reservoir. Um, and that seems to be working out really slick. Um, got good oil flow and no resistance that way. And I'm sure that I got really good clean oil in there. Okay, just a quick shot to show you how I modified or extended or strengthened the frame on this little wheel horse 520. H, I added these big pieces down here. They basically, this is red as the original frame. The black is a new piece was added from way up here in front. 
it drops down, it's four inches down, all the way across and bolts way up into the top on there. I think it's a five inch wide channel. And it goes all the way across there. Yeah, it goes up an inch and a half, comes down three and a half into there. And then this is what the main frame is mounted to with these mounting bolts here um, are bolted on, welded onto a short part of that, but then this frame extension runs even all the way back. See if I can show you all the way back to the back part of the frame where it mounts onto the back part of the tractor uh, where the, where the uh, differential bolts on there. Just one more thing about the oil filtering system in here. They've Suction line filter is only a 25 micron filter, a little less than a thousandth of an inch. That's pretty small. But the return line filter is a 10 micron, so it's two and a half times finer, so that the return filter is actually much cleaner. And that's why I put both of them on there. I'm actually kind of concerned. I was only going to put a return line filter in, but I was really concerned about getting impurities, especially when I'm kind of sucking off the bottom of my reservoir here. It really would have been nice to have that sucking up higher on the reservoir so I had less chance of getting sediment in there. But being I got that big filter in there, I'm not too worried, and I'm going to change that fairly regularly. That will help make a big difference. And to stabilize the uprights for these uh, these flat irons that go all the way up here to the top of the loader frame here, they come down to the front and mount on to this crafted front brace here, which I call it the bullhorn up here in front. Uh, get that bright light out of the way there. Made this big U shape like this out of two inch square tubing and then it mounts onto both sides of the frame in the front um, and goes back several inches on each side of the frame uh, to hold that in place. It turned out real sturdy like that. If you can see those mounting bolts down inside of there, uh, there's three of them, two up here in front and then one way back here. And that's on both sides like that, holding this rigid like that. And then these braces on each side that hold the loader, stabilize it on top.